All right, let's uh, network these lasers. Um, so if you've already tested it, um, you'll see the lasers work, but they don't work across the network. So uh, we have to actually um, work out a way to do that. Um, I wanted to show you this really quickly, this, um, this simple drawing. So what we've got here is the, um, the basic uh, application is running um, locally right here. And you'll see that there's two players. There's a red one and a blue one. So this just explains that there's a, a local player um, right here, this uh, this red player is a local player, and this is the this is the server right here. Now this is the host, so he's running a lo he's l running a connected one, and he's also running on the server up here. Now what happens is um, when you this red player has absolutely zero connection to the red player on a different connected client. Um, so imagine that this is the other the other window that's uh, that's playing. So this is the other connected client. You'll see what, what um, when you call if you draw a laser right here, um, if you draw this laser, nothing's going to happen anywhere else. Okay. So what we do is we we call what's called a command. So this player this player runs a command. Um, the the command ends up so they they trigger this command, but the command actually runs over here on the server. So the command gets run by the by the actual server. Um, in order for this to be propagated down to the other one, so that, um, for example, if if the blue player right here sees the red player on this screen, um, the the red player has has run a command which runs on the server, but the 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 player this server can then run what's called an RPC, um, and the RPC is um, is a message that gets sent by the server and gets run on all local clients. So um, if if this this has a, this script right here has both a command on it and an RPC on it, then when you call the command, it gets run on the server. When the server calls the RPC, um, so this will have an RPC as well. Uh, when the server runs the RPC, it gets run on the local client, and because this one has the command and the RPC. Um, you'll also see that the RPC, this RPC gets called when it's run on the server, gets run here, and it gets run here. So you'll see it on your local machine, you'll also see it on the other one. So hopefully that kind of explains things, um, and we should probably just get on and write the code now. Alright, so um, we're going to open up this um, this laser gun script and we're going to take a little look. So it's pretty simple. We need to turn that into the shoot command into a command uh, that runs on the server. So the way you do this is with the square brackets. You put the decorator command above it and by by default you need to put cmd before it. Um, and so obviously we'll call the when we call it, we'll call it CMD as well. Uh, the draw laser, um, that's the RPC. So again, it's uh, another decorator with the square brackets, and this time it's client RPC that you add. Um, and by default, again, you put RPC by convention above. So we'll change, uh, when we call this, we'll change that to RPC draw laser for both of them. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, I did want to look at the um, player as well. So if we take a quick look at the player, part of the problem here is that um, we want not to do this in, in every frame. We, we don't want to disable the camera every frame. Uh, it would be much neater if it was up in the start function. And what we need to do is actually disable the camera component um, because the laser is on the camera. So we'll disable the camera component. So we'll find, um, we'll do a little um, if statement here. So if this is the local player, what we're going to do is we're just going to get the component of that camera transform there. So if we're sorry, if we're not the local player, we'll get the camera transform and get the component of camera from it, and uh, we'll uh, disable it. So we'll get the component camera and um, from that transform, and we'll set that enabled to be false and. Um, inside the, uh, we also want the audio listener as well. So we're not disabling the whole game object. We're just going to uh, disable the audio listener and the camera um, from from both of uh, from from the remote player. So if it's not the local player. So now that that's done, we just need to uh, test it. So um, make sure everything's saved. We'll close it. Um, go back to Unity. Oh, I've got one of these open. And uh, jump back to Unity and then we'll build it. Now I'm going to build it um, as a standalone um, but I'm going to go through the build settings to do that so 
a quick build and build it into the temp. Um, the reason I do that is so that I can have a couple of windows or two or three windows open just to test it. So I'll pause and then when it's done we'll show you the thing in action. So um, in action we want, uh, we're just going to run this a uh, couple of instances of this. So I've got them in little 640 by 480 windows. Um, double click again, open up another one um, and uh, we'll just minimize this guy the way. Yep. Um, I'll just run one as the host. Uh, you can see that you can shoot, and you can see it on screen. And run the other one as the client. You can see that he can shoot too. And on the other screen, you'll see the lasers appearing just like they would, um, as the I do expect them to. So yeah, um, that's it. Basically, that's it. That works now. In the next video, we're going to look at um, doing some damage, and obviously the damage will be done on the the uh, on the server in the command. So hopefully you're enjoying the series and stick with it.